everybody, my name is Zoltar and uh, this is a review for you. Uh, yes, if you like reviews, if you like pop culture, if you like TV shows, if you like movies, if you like uh, other stuff, I do all of that. Uh, so please subscribe to me and if you like this video, please like it. Uh, so what did I think about this movie? I thought it was better than the first one at least. Uh, the first one, don't get me wrong, I kind of really miss uh, Samuel Jackson, you know, he just brought his game. Uh, but and there are a lot of flaws that I can nitpick at but one of the things I like to do is I like to give good points first so the very good thing is it's actually a mixed bag for me as well but I did uh, enjoy it uh, the D-Box experience was pretty good for the first act uh, when it gets to the second act and the third act it gets a little crazy so if you guys don't really like roller coasters that stop in the middle and like slow down and then keep going and then you know like just like ever-changing speeds if you don't like that don't do the d-box because i kind of did feel a bit out of it after a while I was like i think the novelty has worn off and that's the, that's why the difference is for me for lego batman and this one because lego batman you know it wasn't really done much because you know it was only like one and a half hours and i think it was so apparent in this one because it was like two and a half hours or something like that so i think it was very apparent and um i think one of the things that you know are very apparent and very very good sequels are that they get it more on a writing point because the first one I just remember it as, as more of the you know the spy you know making fun of the cl spy cliches and everything and this one does as well you know it's more tongue-in-cheek with this one because it's more of the villains hidden layer in a far-off jungle kind of thing and I did like the 50s motif going on for the villain the main villain uh, Poppy uh, and the first joke was Poppy Land and if you go, don't uh, get that guys please go and watch um, um, Wizard of Oz you, you'll get that uh, so yeah it's, uh, it's a reference to Wizard of Oz actually because of the poppy field uh, so yeah uh, which also was alluding to drugs and this whole thing was around drugs uh, the first one was about uh, disease uh, this one kind of does the disease thing again as well, uh, but yeah, you know. Um, I guess the twist as well, I think all of us did, I did and they, they, they did address it at one point, uh, but um, you know, our main uh, protagonist didn't really believe the the wise sage master, and he, he kind of doesn't get to him, I think, you know, they, they just let it slip past. The, there are a lot of unanswered questions in this one, but I think hopefully, hopefully they, they'll address it in the next movie, which I really hope there is more. Um, and now to the bad, I'm so sorry guys, there is quite a number of bad things. If if you're a critic like me, you know, and you've seen a lot of movies, um, you, you'll notice the, the CGI in this one because whilst the fight the fight was fine and the fight was fun and the action was really fun the action was really good i definitely noticed a lot of the cgi i was like oh there's the cgi oh there's the cgi uh it was it was it was horrible i mean like it wasn't like to the point i was like oh fuck this movie there's too much cgi like in some like sometimes i was like that in ultra but uh, I think the most I hated it was with Pan. That was like, oh god, fuck, fuck me. The CGI is horrible. Um, but in this one, it 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 is noticeable, but it's not a point where I'm like, eh, fuck that shit. Um, and uh, again, the 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 story is very good. I think it it gives me a, a broader perspective on the Kingsman and also. I, I do like the the contrast between Kingsman and Statesman. Uh, Statesman is more on the uh, individual person because it's states, huh? And uh, because uh, it's English, uh, you know, the Kingsman division is English, therefore it's the king's man, huh? So the joke is that, um, 
I also like that the statesmen are named for whiskey and the British people are named for Arthurian legends uh, because the Sir is Sir Arthur, I mean the main main guy is always Sir Arthur and the side guy is always Merlin um, and of course the um, the sides are either like Lancelot, Galahad or like the Knights of the Round Table essentially um, that's that's about it there's not much in this that i can really really give you a reason to go for this movie i guess if you really do want to see more guard you really want to see more of the action really done well more like more intense and more close counter like you know there's a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat in this and also uh there's a lot of hun uh handgun uh combat as well. I'm sorry about the noise outside. Um but uh yeah I think overall I'll give it a solid solid seven. I think I think I feel as much I did with Wonder Woman I was kinda thinking should I rate it the same as Wonder Woman? Uh and I was like, maybe not because a lot of people like Wonder Woman and I was like, I don't want to step on their toes but I had to say something about Okja because I couldn't let that one go because that was so fucking horrible I don't get why people still like it um, maybe it's just me, I don't know maybe, uh, maybe I'll ask my friend and he'll say dude, this was really good I was like, why? <laughs> It's explain you know just tell me and there's more noise so I'm just gonna be wrapping up real soon um, I think overall you know you you have the statesman which you have Halle Berry and they, they, they don't really use Halle Berry I think they don't really utilize the rich I, I, I'm kind of like yes and I'm kind of like no as well like I think she should have been more involved somehow but I I know what they were going for and uh, apparently they killed off Roxy so uh, that's one uh, target that, I mean like one of the like geeky breast friends gone as well so because there was like a random like uh, Brandon's friend like I mean um, Galahad's friend which is Eggsy's friend uh, Brandon uh, die in this one so that was uh, really weird for me because I'm just like who are these guys? I know they're from the first movie but I kind of forgot about them and that's my dog I'm so sorry about that um, so yeah I think a lot of it has to do with the visuals and I think they, they did try to up their game in the visuals and there's a lot to do with the slow-mo this time so if you don't like Wonder Woman style uh, action because I'm just like that's Wonder Woman style action and that's what I'm always gonna call it now uh, that's my phrase <laughs> um, so I think for me I would recommend a person who really liked the first uh, Kingsman to be like yeah go watch it you know you, you'll love it uh, but for a person who hasn't watched the first um, Kingsman, I think I think they'll get this one pretty easy because you know there is sort of like a recap in the movie itself, uh, like what happened uh, last time, um, and also there is a lot to do. And this is spoilers, obviously, uh, with the return of Harry, uh, who didn't die. <gasps> Uh, I mean, I, I already guessed that because of the trailers and also I was just like, yeah, in the, in the story point of all the sequels, there will always be this, like, guy who can't really die. Um, and they put up a villain that I don't even remember because it was from the first movie. Again, I... I was just there, I was just for the first, I mean, I was just there in the first movie for Samuel L. Jackson, mostly. I, I mean, I did enjoy Eggsy, you know, I mean, you know, we never got closure with his, like, parents, I think. I was, um, you know, uh, the mom didn't really divorce the guy or never stopped fucking the guy, so I'm still thinking she's still with uh, the guy, so... 
and also you know he has a sister uh, he still has a sister if I'm not mistaken so that is never explored uh, they bring back uh, Tildy from the last um, series as well so uh, it, it is a big uh, mixed bag for me because I'm like I thought it was going to be a, like one, one nice tag because they implied it as a one nice tag because you know she let him do anal with her I don't know just just saying guys just saying um and then you know beca because from the last movie she was a princess so in this one uh you know he he has to meet the king and everything and you know has to impress the the parents essentially so that was the scene where you know a lot of filler was going on i i feel you know it it was definitely building up to the emotional uh distress point in that movie you know even though that was the first uh, act and everything uh they really hammer home the the song uh, uh sweet home alabama uh country road take me home to the place where i belong no west virginia sorry west virginia yeah, I'm sorry. I was get I was get that confused with uh, Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama. Yeah, yeah, Sweet Home Alabama. But this is uh country road. Sorry, so sorry. I I mixed it up again. But yeah, now that song song is gonna be stuck in my head because they played it like uh two or three times, and then uh because uh from the first movie itself, Elton John was uh, kidnapped already. So in this one, he is kind of kidnapped by uh, Poppy. So uh, in this one, uh, he played Saturday, 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 Saturday nights, alright. Uh, but uh, in the movie it was uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, because you know, uh, on that day it was Wednesday for for them. Um, and for you guys too, <laughs> uh, just so happens. Um, but yeah, that that was the song he played, and I was like, yeah, da, da, Saturday, Saturday, because I I knew the I I know those songs, so I was like, yeah, I was like dancing to them. I was like, yeah, that's John. Um, I'm a big fan of like classic jazz and like jazzy songs, so. There you go, um, and also quite a fan of like the slow country music. It's pretty nice to hear it, um, and then when it were obviously talk, like uh, one part, one part of the movie, XZ was talking about uh, talking to um, Whiskey Agent Whiskey about the about this like tracking device and he was like you have to put it up the mucous membrane and he's like you mean stick it up the nose and he's like nope and I was like. God damn it, I know where he's gonna stick it up. I'm not gonna tell you guys. You you have to figure it out, no? Huh? Keeping an element of mystery for you guys to uh, figure it out. But, you know, uh, for all those guys out there, I think you know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, was like, that, that was the strangest thing I ever heard about that. I was like, hmm, what the fuck? Huck. Um, so yeah, it's it's just a good movie. I don't know if I'll ever if I'll watch it again. I think I would rather watch Guardians of the Galaxy two again because that had much of a tighter plot for me because that really did have to do with the writing. Uh, in this one, there is a plot, there is still a story, but I don't feel as strong as uh, the first one. Because the first one, the, because it, it's a cliche in itself, but I think, you know, there is something to be said about the mentor and the mentee kind of thing. And this one is more of the failed candidate coming back to have his revenge kind of deal, which I'm like, okay, but what, what did that really add in the overall thing but uh, again I, I can't really say much but the one thing I actually really enjoyed was the the final act and if you guys have watched this movie you'll understand why uh, but the debate is still there like how how okay so because 
Poppy is a drug lord, essentially. You know, she she controls the the drug trade and everything. She is kind of the richest person in the world, but she can't really be the richest person in the world because you know, law. Um, and the president's like, well, the people are taking drugs and everything. Let let them die. And I was like, well, that's a bit wrong but I think that's kind of good as well like okay but like hear me out like don't let them die like do what this movie did like they 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 obviously obviously the president was wrong but um, get them the antidote and then you know let like let them decide if they want to take it again because uh, in the in the last part, um, the one of the friends of the, like a random guy, uh, it, he was like, "I'm never taking that again." And I'm like, "There you go. That's smart because I'm like, that's how you kind of wean people off, like make people so scared that they don't want to do it again. Because like you have to scare them straight. Like that's why." There's a whole series called Beyond Scared Straight, so that's just my opinion. Obviously, um, I don't think all drugs are bad. Obviously, there are some recreational drugs that can help people and have been helping people. Obviously, like marijuana and you know, uh, caffeine because it's in coffee. Um, obviously tobacco is honestly actually for me it's a drug because you know it is quite addictive nicotine especially because that is the worst of the worst okay then you got your crystal meth that is the worst of the worst as well in the really like high-end drug world and then of course cocaine but like softer drugs like it's it's not really good to do much guys like i'm just saying like marijuana is now mostly legal in the u.s so i can say that um like i did like i i i'm honest with you guys like i had to do a research on a debate uh for weed and its disadvantages and i couldn't really find it because all of it was advantages and i was like whole shit um and you know i was like oh god like how how do i do this and you know one of the like the one of the reasons the the government because i was the opposition obviously so the government uh proposed that they legalize weed just because the tax returns and i was like no you can't do that because like you're technically like weeding people into that more but obviously i i kind of knew it, it is kind of good because like it can help the economy because of the you know you regulate the sales and they explain in the movie as well if you regulate the sales and you tax the sales you know you you can help the economy so i definitely think uh there is an avenue and now there is an avenue so um yeah nothing much else to say uh just talk about drugs right now um I think I think the visuals were okay. It's just the CGI uh, that that really hurt me. Uh, well, not really, really hurt me, but I was just like, yeah, I think it could have been done so much better. But it definitely does look like they they got their budget higher, like higher budget, so they can expand it and you know move to America as well and uh, do a lot of other things. You know, uh, expand their their knowledge and all that and also like expand their base uh but kingsman is uh, essentially gone actually so that is something interesting for the next movie to kind of explore uh yeah <laughs> like Kelly barry didn't really do much in this movie all she did was like ask merlin like do you ever, do you feel like doing something more and i was like fuck no we, we no come on you're better than this kingsman but they keep it short obviously and i thought i thought that merlin's death was really unnecessary that is a major spoiler obviously so i hope you clicked out of that um so yeah i thought merlin's death was really unnecessary because i'm just like 
Why well, you gotta kill Merlin off? Like, I mean, Ramsey's death was actually pretty worthless as well. I was like, mm, in the over overall span of things, I don't think uh, Roxy should have died as well. Um, but hey, that that's just my two cents. I do not know if there's an after credit scene because I just like bolted out of there. I I will take a look and like uh, tell you guys, but I'm just like I don't think there is I know there was one for the the first one but uh I don't know if they wanted to to keep it that way um and that's about it guys I do not have anything else anymore uh there is a few things I think you should look out for which is that you know uh again because of all the things that happened in the world today, you just should have a mindset that is, it's mindless violence, but it's violence nonetheless. And I think if you do have an emotional uh, cord to these kind of things, an emotional trigger because of all the, the happenings and the mass shootings and the, you know, the mass terror attacks and all that, don't go watch this movie. I, I'm telling this, okay, please do not, because you'll just feel very, very sad. But if you're just going to go watch a movie just because it's a movie, go ahead. It's it's not really that bad. It's just it's just very, very okay. Like, I think I think I rated it 7.4 with my friends, and I'm, like, I'm thinking about it more. I'm like, yeah, 7 is fine. 7 is proper. My friend, my other friend gave it 8. I'm like... Yeah, I don't see it as an end because like there are definitely things that I'm just like okay that that's really cool that's really good that's really fine but there are more things that I was like mm, you know this could have been, been done better this could have been done better this could have been done better this and that this and that this and that and it led to me going yeah it's just okay in the end so yeah guys um I will be actually doing uh, one more reaction, hopefully I can do it, because uh, I have like an hour's time. But uh, I will try my best, and uh, I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm, still, I'm still okay, I, I'm not that tired yet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's about me, uh, that's, about, that's about me. That's about it for this review, if you liked it, please like it. Uh, and I will see you in, uh, in hopefully... Uh, channel zero because that is the ch uh, reaction I'm gonna do and then and tomorrow is gonna be um, awesome okay so I'll see you then see ya